Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus, in paperback. with a Negro female child of the corn. And in this incident, which took place here in Brooklyn, New York, 30-year-old Latanya Watson lost her life after getting into an argument with a 20-year-old Negro female child of the corn on a number three train here in New York. Now, in this incident, Latanya Watson was coming home from work, I believe, and at, she was on the train coming home from work. This 20-year-old Negro female child of the corn decided to get into an argument with Latanya Watson. And the argument got so heated that your Latanya Watson literally had to take out a can of pepper spray in an attempt to defend herself. But because this Negro child of the corn was so feral and savage, even pepper spray could not stop this child of the corn. And because this pepper spray couldn't stop this child of the corn from participating in this act of violence, she took out a knife as they got off the train and got into the mezzanine of the station and stabbed Ms. Watson multiple times in the face, neck, and arm in the mezzanine of the station. And this just shows how extremely dangerous these Negro children of the corn are. And it also shows that as the males are extremely dangerous when they're violent, the females are far more dangerous when they are violent. Because when it comes down to these Negro female children of the corn, they are often running on their emotions, and because they are running on their emotions, they aren't thinking about, the, about their actions or the consequences of their actions. And because they are in their feelings about their actions, all, the only thing they want to do is get satisfaction for whatever grievance they believe has been perpetrated against them. And in this case, I believe that it was probably something going on as related to a crowded train. Possibly this 20-year-old Negro child of the corn bumped into Latanya Watson. And because she probably bumped into her, this Mia Simmons, this 20-year-old Negro child of the corn, this is what led to an argument escalating. And then as they got off the train, it looks like this Mia Simmons possibly followed her. And that's probably what had Latanya Watson extremely scared. Because for her to take out pepper spray showed that she was probably terrified at the fact of engaging with this Mia Simmons. And that's why she took out the pepper spray to defend herself from this Mia Simmons in this alleged case. And what happened was even the pepper spray did not phase the child of the corn. Because when it comes down to these children of the corn, they are often, again, filled with emotion, they're filled with rage, and almost nothing stops them because they have no center of self-control. And that center of self-control is not there because oftentimes these children of the corn, they are raised in these single mother households, and because they aren't given any sort of guidance or supervision in these single mother households because they spend most of their time in places like daycare. What happens is these children have no locus of self-control. They have no locus of control. So whatever impulse they want to act on, they act on. And that's what makes them extremely dangerous. And then in the case of Latonya Watson, she didn't know what danger she was dealing with with this Mia Simmons, this Negro female child of the corn, because ap even after getting pepper sprayed, she then 
takes out a knife and is so enraged in her emotions that she stabs this poor woman in her face, neck, and arms and literally cuts her own hand as she's stabbing her, showing how enraged she was and how it was all about her feelings and she was not going to stop until this Latanya Watson sadly was dead. And after murdering Latanya Watson, what this Kia Simmons does to show her not only her malice of forethought and her acting on impulse, she then runs out of the station with her hand bleeding all the way to her grandmother's house looking for a place to hide. And that again shows malice of forethought, shows intent, because when it comes down to these children of the corn, they have not been taught things like conflict resolution, things like critical thinking skills, or to even think about the consequences of their actions. Because here in New York City, when you are on a train, oftentimes you're going to be on a crowded train filled with lots of people. Unfortunately, because of the way these kids are raised in daycare from these single mother households, they think the world revolves around them and only them. And because they believe the world revolves around them and only them, they think that every little slight that is done here in a place like New York City is an affront, and they want to go out here and hurt people over these so-called affronts. And when I look at it as it relates to Latanya Watson, she probably was coming, getting ready to come home off this train after working long hours at the Fairway supermarket she worked at, probably trying to get home to her 12-year-old son. And then she bumps into this Mia Simmons, who is just angry over just something happening, like a minor bump in a, in a city, in a subway. And she escalates things by chasing, the, arguing with the woman on the train, chasing the woman through the train station. And then, as she's getting pepper sprayed, then deciding she's going to murder this woman over something that probably happens every day here in New York City. Because as a resident of New York for over 45 years, I can tell you that the trains here in New York are always crowded, and oftentimes, especially at night, they can be quite crowded, and you will run into people and bump into people, and it's just a part of life. But I also know that a lot of these Negro children of the corn ride the train, and that's why you have to keep your head on a swivel because when it comes down to these Negro children of the corn all you have to do is look at them the wrong way and that can trigger anger inside of these Negro children of the corn and once they have their targeted you for their anger that anger will not be sated until they do you harm and that's why if you are on a train here in New York City it's best to just keep your head down and keep your distance because when it comes down and keep your head on a swivel because these Negro children of the corn, when they are on the train at night or even during the day, they can turn a ride that you're trying to get from point A to point B into a violent altercation that could possibly cost you your health or even worse, like in the case of poor LaTanya Watson, it can cost you your life. And that's one of the scary things about dealing with these Negro children of the corn is that you never know where they are, you never know what they'll do, and you'll never know what type of violence they are capable of participating in, and you'll never know how dangerous they are. Because in the, our country, we have two to three generations of these Negro children of the corn growing up like stalks here all across the country due to 50 years of feminism, due to 50 years of socially engineered single mother households, and due to 50 years without fathers in the home. Because only a Negro child of the corn is going to go out here and turn a minor incident on a train into a murder that leads to an innocent woman losing her life and what's even scarier than, than this poor woman losing her life is that there are multiple children of the corn and during the summertime they often turn everyday incidents into real life horror movies because 
during the summer when it's hot, these Negro children of the corn aren't in school or they aren't working. So they're on the streets out here because it's hot. And any situation that could be minor, just like basically walking down the street, can turn into a hot situation because these Negro children of the corn, they act on impulse and they bring terror to every place that they can't go to. So when it comes down to these Negro children of the corn, every man out here has to keep his eyes open, every man has to keep his head on a swivel, and you have to wind up, if your instincts are telling you to avoid someone, make sure you avoid them, because any altercation with a Negro child of the corn could wind up making you a victim in a real life horror movie. If you want to learn more about how these dysfunctional Negro children of the corn come to grow like stalks, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats, and you can also pick it up on Smashwords and the iBookstore. And if you also want to help me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters, paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.